hello friend in this video we learn web service and about simple object access protocol which is nothing but a soap so we'll dig about more how we'll do that uh, understand that a soap so for going ahead we need <coughs> few things before starting it we need to install a java 1.6 or plus eclipse in your system this is nothing but java editor and soap ui tool or any other then we have to do that a web service deploy and ready to consume so we'll see first three steps i have already installed java in my system which is nothing but in c direct after that i have installed that eclipse on soap ui tool this is i'm going to use for generating the soap request and response so <coughs> until first second and third point is already covered we'll discuss little bit more about web service deploy and ready to consume if already deployed then no worry just get that uh, web services endpoint url and consume directly in a soap ui otherwise i have already <coughs> discussed in my earlier um, tutorial from here you can refer that standard alone web services using jdk 106 or plus with aws gen utility so for this i have just written one math service class which ones i have <coughs> the add method while passing the two parameters it's just doing the plus and returning in a double similarly we have a, a, a sub, sub method for substack uh, substack and in that web services i have published with a url that is a twitter by example dot com math services and after that i have generated that respective artifacts whatever is required for web subtracts and xxt and visual and there is a one publish method with help of that i have just published it i'm just closing earlier running application and i'll just go and run once again okay so this math service is already published now we can consume it so for consuming you have to just open that one browser and just type this one you will be able to see that a web service is already published and it's ready to consume by this endpoint url now we are getting that a visual which i have already discussed in my earlier tutorial about the visual and xxd and uh, about service i have already uh, explain in more details about the one of the tutorial i'll show you so as of now we are in this tutorial we are going to cover that about simple access object protocol which ones you can find from that uh, web services tab or just come and search it over here like wsdf so you'll get the details about the visual or just type the about wisdom so about wisdom we are getting this one where that entire thing is already dis described in text textual and in video form and if you go to that like a standard alone web services just find that jax ws So Jax Web Services client no tutorial by no this is the using so you have to go through the, this link you will get that uh, about the services or you can go ahead with another one so with help of that you can both approach you can get that uh, endpoint URL so for example if you will go through that Jax standard alone web services and the like client so you'll get that uh, how to generate and consume that. <coughs> this one after that now our agenda is objective is to go through that uh, simple access 
simple object access protocol this is nothing but soap in web services so in textual forms I have already explained everything over here now we'll go and see how it will work in a soap UI and then we'll understand the definitions and there all so in a simple nothing but a soap is a just it's a wire protocol on wire protocol that means nothing but it will support HTTP protocol HTTPS and other protocol whatever we have it's a RPC mechanism it's follow that it is a inter interoperability standard it's a document exchange protocol it's universal business to business communications language and we have a app to app communications language we have business to business communications language we have simple object access protocol standard you can find from http clone slash slash www.w3c.org tr soap this is nothing but a lightweight protocol for exchanging of information in decentralized distributed environment so in soap we cannot make a serialized because if you we'll send the request it will go and check and it will get the response in non uh, decent, uh, uh, decentralized distributed environment and not not synchronous two different uh, style to use to one is a rpc and call using the extensibility and flexibility of a xml to deliver a whole document without any method call encapsulation so we will see that in uh, all those things i have already mentioned in this textual form now we will we'll go and in learn that in details how uh, how many things is there what is that soap in soap contents like a soap envelope soap header soap in header we can put that a multiple block for soap header and after that we'll get that a soap soap body in body we can put that a multiple body for that and if and in fault message if, uh, this is nothing but request but in response we'll get the additional stack which is nothing but a fault so fault so soap request we can send and we'll say that in response how it will be so before that we'll see that a soap structure a soap message is contained in the envelope the envelope element is on containing in order and the optional header with one or more child element we can include the header or we can exclude as well that's an uh, optional so as of now if you're seeing that in the for uh, my current example there is nothing is that in the header so adding the header we need a like and soap in develop header and we have to put that a uh, how to do that a uh, header and all so header are really just extension point where you can include elements from other namespace like a header can contain it arbitrary xml header enters may optionally have a must understand attribute the if you provide that a must understand attribute equal to one means that message recipient must process the header element first until unless they will not able to uh, after verifications of a header element only it will process to go ahead with uh, accessing the body part for example in a header generally will pass that a security related information you pass that user id pa uh, password you pass that a token if the token is matched then only will provide that a body body part until unless no so but we have to make sure the must understand attribute is equal to one the soap body the interior are really just placeholder for attribute xml for some others namespace and we are talking about this element as of now and the body contain the xml message that you are transmitting the message format is not specified by the soap the body and body tag contains actual xml if you'll see the, we have a start of a body we have a close of a body in between we are just passing that a xml form data and after that <coughs> header body we already discussed that we'll see that in soap messaging 
so if you will see that how the soap will be exchange that message suppose we have a machine a we are sending the request after it going to be to the server where that service is published and after that getting the response and coming back in in between there is some xml data mapping data transmissions translations and conversions will be happen then after we are getting as a response from the business logic and this is nothing but we can say that client applications client request is sending after that it's going to the server where the services is deployed and we are getting the response we'll see how we'll get this one by configuring that uh, new project so first i'll close that all project no i'll go and remove it yes remove this as well so for this we need a endpoint endpoint already we discussed we have already published in one of the services then we have to just go create soap project put the tab visitor location or endpoint for web services and click on that ok after that your service whatever method will be there as discussed in service we have add and subtract where the request is coming this one so we got the parameter a and b if you provide the parameter a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 and what we have to do we have to run it so we are getting that response as a 3 so this business logic is already written over here in if i'll provide the parameter a and parameter b it will go and it will do that a plus b so that's all about in basic of a soap still we have to learn more how to attach that a header how to do the attachment how to pass the token here how will pass that a authentication how to pass that another attachment and all and must understand attribute how to handle that as soap exception with a fault message if i put that a plus b and my expectations is a double it will throw the fault message so all you will see in other tutorial Hoping you have enjoyed while watching my video. Thank you and don't forget to like and subscribe it.